Question for you. Is American Sniper too racist and unsafe to show on a college campus in America? The University of Michigan apparently thought so briefly, replacing a showing of that movie with Paddington Bear. But with a little help from their new head football coach and one student group, especially this student, they pulled a huge save on Wednesday and Thursday. Joining us right now on Friday at the University of Michigan as freshman and chairman of that group, the U.M. chapter of Young Americans for Freedom is Grant Strobel. Grant, what was the problem? Who was protesting the showing of American Sniper? I mean, really, the problem here is it's a it's a it's a free uh, expression issue. It's a freedom of expression issue, and uh, the Muslim Student Association created a petition of. Uh, 300 students, and they claimed that the movie was racist, and uh, and, and and that uh, uh, Chris Kyle was a mass murderer, and, um, and and that's just not true. This movie isn't about race. Uh, this movie isn't against religion. Uh, this movie is about a war hero. This movie is about um, a yeah. tremendous uh, military skill. And uh, I mean, if if we have to disqualify the movie based upon tangential statements by uh, the subject, we'd have to disqualify movies on FDR on Henry Ford, and, and then what are we left to discuss at the university? Uh, nothing. Uh, the the uh, two, student Muslim, two student Muslim groups who are anti-Israeli and so, some say anti-American said this, the American Sniper uh, movie not only tolerates but promotes anti-Muslim, anti-media, Muslim media, mi uh, Middle Eastern and North America, that's the name of the group, rhetoric and sympathizes with a mass killer. Chris Kyle is a racist who took a disturbing stance on murdering Iraqi civilians. So that went out, the 306, 300 signatures came in, and the the school said, OK, we'll pull the movie. That's when you guys wrote the story. And then Jim Harbaugh wrote, tweeted this out. Michigan football will watch American Sniper. Proud of Chris Kyle and proud to be an American. If that offends anybody, then so be it. What did that tweet do? I mean, that tweet really shows um, that uh, uh, Coach Harbaugh really stood up for what he believed in. And that is a huge example for the rest of the university. Um, and, and, and it really goes to show you that the leadership of uh, 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 Coach Harbaugh is just tremendous, not only on the field, but off the field. And uh, uh, we're very grateful that uh, he agrees that American Sniper is worth watching. Right. So tonight I was talking to uh, Derek, who wrote the, uh, the story. He expects protests tonight. Do you expect protests outside this movie? Because they're also going to show Paddington Bear. Uh, yeah, I mean, you never know at the University of Michigan. Uh, I mean, uh, the people that are interested in having the discussion, really talking about the issues at hand and watching American Sniper, um, they're going to go to American Sniper, and if you feel uncomfortable, um, you're free to watch Paddington Bear. Um, but I, I think really at the university, we should be engaging in these tough discussions, and, 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 and really it's right. a free expression issue, and uh, I'm glad the university right. made their decision to bring it back. Well, Grant, it's not really a tough discussion. I know you agree with me because most of America said that's one of the best movies they've ever seen and set all type of yeah. box office records. Grant Stobel, a freshman at the University of Michigan, not sitting down and watching, taking action. I appreciate it, Grant. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.